What are the good things and the bad things about Richardson, Texas? This is such a common question that I get from our clients that I decided to make a pros and cons video to really address everything in one single spot. So if you're thinking about moving to Richardson or simply want to learn more about the city, this is a video you don't want to miss. And please make sure to stay to the end because some of these cons will not only be unpleasant, but they can actually cost you in the long run. Hey, if we're just meeting, my name is Jaime Resendez and I want to welcome you to the DFW Homeowner YouTube channel where you'll find real estate information no one else is sharing with you. All right, so let's dig in. Richardson, Texas is located in North Dallas and as a moderate drive to both airports, which brings us right into pro number one, which is Richardson's location. Richardson's location gives you access to all of North Dallas within a couple of minutes. Within a short drive, you can be in downtown Dallas, or if you go up north, you're gonna be right in McKinney, which gives you a good opportunity to go and enjoy the nightlife if that's your thing, or go and find a recreation spot right down the road. And it's the location that has many of our clients select Richardson as their number one spot that they wanna live in. Now, another big reason that many of our clients clients select Richardson over all of the surrounding cities is the parks and recreation scene. Even though there's a lot of buildings, houses, and roads, there's still plenty of greenery to go around. Just about every Richardson resident is a couple minutes walk to a high profile park, which gives plenty of opportunities for the nature lovers to go outside and enjoy the outdoors. Whether it's a park, a hiking trail, or recreational events, Richardson has you covered. And speaking of Richardson having your back, Richardson also has a job opportunity for you. Richardson is actually the second largest employment center across the entire DFW metro area. And as you can see here in the list of largest employers in the city, there are a ton of Fortune 500 companies that are eager to hire you. So one of the biggest draws to our clients and the reason that they select Richardson over other cities is the fact that they get to live and work in the same place. Which by the way, if you're finding value in this video, let me know in the comment section down below by sharing what you think about Richardson. Now there's many other reasons that Richardson tops the charge with many of our clients. However, let's look at the other side of the equation. What are some downsides? What are some of the concerns that our clients have in regards to Richardson? Well, the first downside or the first con is the fact that there really isn't any new construction in Richardson. At this point, the city has been surrounded and has been extremely well developed to the point where there's not a lot of new build construction to consider. So many of our clients, while they love the location, they love the proximity to a lot of the things that they enjoy, well, they have to sacrifice that because they're looking for a brand new house. And in Richardson, you're not gonna really find too many of those. You're gonna find some remodeled homes because you have investors and developers going into older communities and revitalizing them, but as far as brand new builds, don't expect to find them in Richardson. Another downside or another con to Richardson is the fact that there's gonna be a ton of traffic. Now, let's be fair, this is an older city. This was the first suburbs in the Dallas area. So you would have Dallas, then Richardson at one point was considered the suburbs, but that's no longer the case. So you have a lot of people in the city itself that is living and working, as we know, that has to go to work around the same time and has to come back home around the same time. So you're gonna have a lot of traffic jams. You're gonna have end-to-end -end stoplights. So meaning whenever you're stopping at one stoplight, even if the stoplight is green, well, you can't move forward because there's already plenty of cars in front of you from the other stoplight. Now, if you're not gonna be that big of a commuter or find yourself working in off times where there's no peak traffic, this might be a really good option. But at the end of the day, traffic is traffic and it's something that nobody enjoys. So it is a downside to Richardson and one that we can't ignore. And something else that we can't ignore is the third con, which is the crime in Richardson. Now, given that I'm a real estate professional, there's certain things that I can and cannot say when it comes to crime in a certain area. But what I can share with you is some statistics that have been pulled up by niche.com about Richardson, where niche rated Richardson a C plus based on violent and property crime rates. Now, again, I can't really speak too much about that particular category, but what I can do again is leave some helpful resources linked down below. Now, overall, I do consider Richardson one of my favorite cities of all time. Now, that probably has to do with the fact that I'm a bit biased given that the very first home that I ever sold, and I mean 
ever was in Richardson. It was my first listing ever, my first home that I ever sold about seven years ago. So a huge shout out to you, Tom, for trusting me and helping launch my real estate career. Now for a more in-depth breakdown of Richardson, check out this video right here. And don't forget our list of preferred homes in Richardson, link down below.